I am like super, super beginner. I have no idea what I'm doing. But fly fishing has been haunting my dreams ever since Maine. And uh, today we're figuring out how to do it. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was sick. Oh, one's after it. Oh, he's got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, something's following it. I'm on. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Oh, oh my gosh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we were out here and today we're gonna be doing something that I am not really the best at. This is actually gonna be like my first time trying this and it's gonna be really interesting to see how it goes. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. But today we have a fly rod and a fly reel right here. We have a fly fishing setup. Now, I'm actually not good at this. I, I recently found this out whenever we went up to Maine to film Uncharted New England. We had a challenge with fly rods and I was terrible, let's just say that. And I felt like, I, I just felt defeated. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna give up. I came back and bought a really cheap fly rod and I just practiced with it. And then I said, I'm actually just gonna get a decent one because I'm not sure how much of this I'm actually gonna do. Depends on how much of this you guys wanna see. So if you guys enjoy this, let me know down below in the comment section. But this is basically going to be my first time catching fish on a fly rod. So this is gonna be like basically a first time. I've technically done this, but I didn't catch anything and I was really bad. So I'm gonna say, that this is hopefully gonna be our first time successfully catching a fish on the fly. And I have a few cool lures over here that we're gonna throw today. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to do this and I'm actually gonna catch some fish, but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead, let's get this thing set up and uh, I'll show you guys kind of what I picked up and what we're gonna throw today to hopefully catch my first fish on the fly. All right, so right here we have my very first fly combo. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, I am like super, super beginner. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's the fun part of it. As much as I fish, it's always fun to learn new things. I learn new things every time I go fish, and this is like a completely new thing to me. Know nothing about it, so uh, bear with me here. But right here, we have a Orvis, I think this is how you pronounce this thing. Um, it's a full combo. It came set up, ready to go. Had uh, all the line on it and stuff, which is great, because I didn't want to have to figure out how to do that, but eventually, I'm gonna have to. But I'm not gonna really go too in depth on this thing because I couldn't really tell you much about it. But fly fishing has been haunting my dreams ever since Maine. And uh, today we're figuring out how to do it. So we're gonna start off lining this thing through all the eyelets and then we're gonna hit the pond, tie up some lures and go catch some fish. At least that's the goal. I think it's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and uh, hopefully I don't mess this up trying to figure out how to put the line all the way through. Okay, rubber band is, I'm just gonna, should I just cut it? I feel like this is a bad idea. I'm cutting it. Why would there be a rubber band on there if it wasn't meant to be cut? What in the heck am I even looking at? All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. I think I have it set up. We're starting off with a little bumblebee. I've heard top water is the easiest thing to throw first for a beginner because you can actually see the fish eat your lure and then you know when to set the hook. But I actually do have a few just regular flies over there too. But this bee lure looks sick. So we're gonna start off with this, see if we can get bit. And uh, I think I have this set up right. But I'm about to show you guys my casting skills that may be good or may be bad, I don't really know. But uh, we're about to see what we can do. and. Hopefully I can kind of figure this combo out along as I go. We'll find out. All right, so I kind of remember how to do this, kind of not really, but we're just about to just, you know, see what happens. That's a win in my book. Honestly, that's better than the first time I've ever done it. So I'm not really gonna mess around too much. I'm just about to go catch a fish because we got some rain coming in. It's been storming and uh, I feel like a pro right now until I get down there and I'll probably suck, but it's all good. It's going forward. It's going about 10 foot. That's all we need. I don't have to be a pro on day one. I just need to be good enough, like this good enough to catch a fish. And that was not a good sentence, but it's all good. I don't know how to talk. I'm excited. All right. But I do think that I know a little bit of what I'm doing. I've watched countless YouTube videos and I probably still don't know what I'm doing. You guys are probably laughing at me, but it's all good. Day one, by day five, I might be a pro. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna take multiple days. I'm just, I, I'm just going out and I'm doing it. That's, that's the only way I'm gonna learn and 
the fish look active. Here we go. There's usually a bunch of fish that like to hang right here. Let's see if I can see on my glasses. You know, glasses are probably a smart idea. I might like take this to the face or something. Need to be prepared. All right. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I caught my first fish. I was literally not even ready. I didn't even think I was gonna get bit right there. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That was sick. I didn't even have to set the hook. I just didn't know what just happened. What just happened? That was sick. I literally threw it in. I was getting my stuff ready. I was pulling my line out. And this guy came up and popped it. That was so sick. First one on the fly. I feel like that doesn't count though. I wasn't even ready. I didn't even pop it. I just literally threw it in. And boom, fish. Wow, that was insane. I might be hooked now, honestly. How, <laughs> I don't know how it happened, how I got so lucky, but boom, fish number one. Thanks, little guy. Let's get you back. I didn't even have, like, all my line through. That, that was a complete disaster. Oh, my gosh. That was sick. I literally heard a little poop, and I looked down, and the fish is taking off of my bumblebee. Thanks, little guy. I appreciate you. You were known as my first ever fly fish catch. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that was cold. That was rude. What just happened? How did I do that? I, I, that, I, I have no words. Thanks, fish. That was all him, I did nothing. I was trying to get my my line all situated. Cause like my, there we go. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened, that was sick. All right, here goes nothing. There's a tree right here, so I'm kind of intimidated, not gonna lie. Oh, that's perfect, that's all we need right there. Oh, that's all we need. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they're on the bumblebee. That was not a really good hook set, but it's okay. I'm getting back in there. I researched how to set the hook. Oh, I got him. Ow, that burned my finger. Ow, yes, that's not a bass. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm a fly. I'm a fly fishing legend right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe not. Look at me over here. Amateur hour. What the heck? What is happening? Why are these fish all... So attracted to this bumblebee, man. Catch number two. How? I don't understand. I was expecting you to be a bass. See ya. I don't frick with those things. I get spined every time. Nobody told me in the tutorial that was gonna burn whenever it, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Dude, I, I've, I'm having too much fun. Like I might be an amateur and I might be very confused, but this is a lot of fun. They like this little bee over here. I told you guys, this is a good spot because they can. I can actually cast over here and they all like to hang around the bank. I kind of been digging the fly game. Give me, I'm telling you guys, give me a little while. I'll figure it out. And when I figure it out, the opportunities are endless. Like we literally can go salt water. We can go fresh water. We could literally target anything we've ever wanted to on the fly. It takes a little bit of force to get this thing to pop. Oh, something's following it. I'm on. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was so sick. Let me try and figure out how, let me make myself look a little bit more presentable here. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I'm having the time of my life right now. Boat flipping. Can you even, can you boat flip with these things? Is that smart? Is that gonna break my rod? Probably break my rod, it's okay. This is so sick on the bumblebee. They like the little bumblebee. Look at that thing. Oh my God, I'm having too much fun. Might be addicted now. I'm still not the greatest, but time will fix that. Thanks, buddy. Bass number two. Wow, dude, I'm having so much fun. Let's go. Who knew I was just so good at the fly rod? <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I just, okay, yeah, I'm That's not good. Okay. I'm completely kidding. I just got lucky. I'm telling you guys, the fish like to stack up over here. And once they stack up, I can cast like at least two foot. So they're going to eat it. But I didn't know they were that aggressive, the top order. But now we know. Thanks, little guy. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is so much fun. Oh, my mess of a fly rod right there. Don't look at that. Number two in the bass. Thanks, guy. 
Appreciate you. If I had to say how this is going, like if I had to rate myself out of 10, I'd say we're at a solid, I'd say six. Let me know down, let me know down below in the comments. If I was one through 10, rate my fly skills right now. I told you guys, I've been practicing. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I just messed up. Definitely fixable. But then again, I could be doing terrible. But hey, we're catching fish. That's all that matters to me. But, uh, I want to kind of work around this pond, but there's a lot of trees. That's the only problem. Don't want to get this thing hung up in a tree. Because then I don't know how to fix it if it breaks and the line gets all... Yeah, that just sounds like a, a bad idea. But there is a bridge, so that might be the spot. All right, we got fly rod in hand. We're making the adventure. The adventure I didn't want to make, but I guess I will. Every time I fish this place, I see a snake. So I'm hoping that I don't see one this time. My life would be perfectly fine if I didn't see a snake today. Oh, a fish just moved right there. All right, it's time to hit our spot. Oh, break tree, tree again. Somebody always told me to put my rod behind my back when I walk through trees, so here we are. I'm scared, man. Don't be a snake over here. And that's a giant spider. Why are there spiders there? What, the, what are we doing? What is this? Oh, I think that was a snake. Staying away from there. All right, this is the spot where things go down. Oh, I'm seeing fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's like the fly was meant to come right here. I'm not sure how this bridge situation is gonna be. Hold on, there's a fish right here. See if I can sight fish him. Okay, maybe not. He's not a bass. I don't know if he'll eat it. Ooh, that was actually a pretty good cast. Now, if there was a fish there, that would make that 10 times better. Oh, there's one. Oh, I don't think he had the whole thing or I'd set the hook wacky. Dang it. That was the cast too. Well, that was a pretty good cast. I feel like I'm slowly improving. I just don't really have the perfect environment to be doing this. Like this bridge is very unideal. That was pretty graceful, I'm not gonna lie. I just felt satisfying making that cast. That was sick. That was sick. We're on. That was sick. Oh, he spit it. He's a little guy. Oh, you're gonna get off right there. I was gonna try and like, I don't know. How is that supposed to work? Are you supposed to completely just line him in, hand line him in, and not use the real, or can you do both? I feel like I, I, I messed that up. That was on me. That was on me. I think that you just straight up hand line it. You don't even really use the reel. You just kind of hand line it up. That was on me. That was on me. That was a little fish though. I think probably the smallest of the day. All right, so I'm currently just retying up the B right here because I don't really want to walk all the way back to get a new lure. But there is a few things I'm noticing. Like I'm definitely gonna have to get some different line on this thing because this line is super, super thin. And uh, we need it for them big boys, you know? If we ever go saltwater fishing with this, um, we're gonna need some thicker line. And even bass fishing, we're just kind of in a spot that doesn't have super crazy amounts of big fish. It's kind of more like a smaller, kind of a micro pond, honestly. And uh, there's big ones in here. I just haven't caught them yet. I know they're in here. But uh, we're kind of in the lucky spot where these fish just aren't big enough to break this thing, hopefully. And uh, we got the bee back up. So we're gonna keep throwing the bee because the top water bite's been pretty consistent. So can't stop it if it's working. Hey. 
I'm on the bridge again. I'm done with this spot. Dude. The bridge has caused me so much pain in the past 30 minutes that I don't even want to be here anymore. We're out, dude. The bridge is just not happening for me. God, I wish they had a little spot right here. I guess they just don't on this rod, but they should totally have a spot right here where you can put your your lure. I mean, the good thing is you can just slide right here in your reel, but still, man, every rod should have that. You know what I'm saying? All right, back over here, just because I know that these fish like to hang over here, and I just saw one move. That's pretty satisfying whenever you take it out of the water like that and it makes that noise. It's very satisfying. I caught a tree. We all knew that was coming. I'm trying to get like up under there, but it's not really working. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was sick. That was so sick. I was like, I'm just about to start ripping her. And there we go. Oh gosh, it's on my leg. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what number that is, but I will take it. Dude, he absolutely crushed the old bee popper. Look at that. Look how gone that thing is. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's all the way up in there. His head, the whole head of the bee was in there. This popper is kind of sick. They really like this thing. All right, there we go. Fish number, I have no idea, but I will take it. The bee popper has just been getting bites all day long. There is no doubt about it. Nothing crazy in size, but hey, first day fly fishing, I'll take anything I can get. All right, little dude, thank you. See you later. Bye. All right, there we go. That's another fish on the board. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was sick. Oh, he swiped it out of nowhere. That was so cool. That was so cool. That was so cool. Come here, little buddy. Get up here. Yes. That was sick. Talk about a fish that wanted a bee, man. Woohoo. That was cool. Right there, we got another one. This one's actually, I think, our new biggest of the day. And that was probably the coolest bite of the day, too. That was really cool. I threw it in on the bank, and he came from, like, the side of the bank and just sideswiped it. Wow, that was sick. Fly fishing is definitely starting to... Uh, get a uh, hold on me I'm definitely starting to like it I honestly was like I was suspecting it to come out maybe run it up and have a little bit of fun but I didn't know it was gonna be this much fun anything fishing relating and top water you just can't beat so fly fishing might just you know be grabbing me a little bit and uh, I don't know if it can take me away from a bait caster but this is a lot of fun there he goes oh I just freaked that up okay safe to say if you're a you're a oh my gosh if you're a bee you're pretty much in trouble get up here buddy if you're a bee in this pond you're in trouble you chose the wrong pond <laughs> let's go i fished this pond and i was like dang it'd be fun to bring some micro lures out here well here we have a tiny little popping bee and it is cranking these little guys man this is so much fun especially on the fly rod i'm just kind of learning practicing and we're catching them Thanks, bud. Tell your friends that there's some insects up here that they should eat. Oh, dude, that was sick. Yeah, I swear, fly fishing has just been haunting my dreams recently. I was like, dang, that looks so much fun. I wish I could do that. I need to get me a fly rod. So I got me a fly rod. The opportunities are endless. Let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys want to see on the fly, if you even want to see more. I don't know. I thought I'd try it. I think it'd be cool to bring out every now and then because I'm still going to be a bait caster guy no matter what, but there's some cool stuff that you can do with the fly that you can on the bait caster. It's good to have experience in everything. Like if you give me a spinning rod, I can work a spinning rod. If you give me a bait caster, I can work a bait caster. And when I'm handed a fly rod, I want to know how to work it. So here we are getting that, putting that work in, figuring it out. I swear I'm improving though. 
Like I definitely am 10 times better than the first time I ever did this. Oh, I just walked into the trailer hitch. Oh, ow. All right, so right here, I actually have the post fly guide series. A few flies right here. We got a black and purple, a bait fish minnow, an off white, a tan, and a classic. So I really don't know how to use these things, but uh, I'm assuming you just work it like a bait fish. Figure out how to open it real quick. We'd be in business. Oh, there we go. All right, wh which one do we want? That is juicy looking right there. I'm not sure which one I want to start with. We'll go with, uh, that's like a really natural bait fish. Has an eye, got the tiny little hook on the top. I feel like that's gonna kill it. I also wanna go white so I can see it out there. And uh, I've never thrown one of these. We're about to find out how it goes. That thing is sick looking though. That's gonna catch them. Oh, tree. Don't break that off. This is, I think, one of the more expensive flies compared to that bumblebee. Oh, I just wrecked that tree. I will catch one on this. Oh, one's after it. Oh, he's got it. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was sick. Let's go. That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, he got off. Okay, perfect. Could you wait there for a second while I reel this in? Thanks, man. That was sick. I saw, I was like, I was ripping it. And it was going, and I stopped it and I saw him pull up behind it. Dang, nothing crazy on size, but I mean, still, that's still a cool bite, still a cool fight, especially on the fly rod, because it's not as, you're doing that on a bait caster, you reel this thing in in like two seconds, and then <laughs> this actually gives you a little bit of fight. Thanks, little guy, appreciate you. On the old uh, dry fly, I think that's what they're called. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's okay. Oh, one was, oh, oh, that was sick. That was sick. That was so sick. Oh my gosh. I was like, one just swiped at it and the other one came and just, my entire white fly just gone, disappeared. That was crazy. That was crazy. Man, that was sick. Thanks little guy. This is a darker fish. You can uh, could probably tell where he stays up under all these trees right here, but thanks little guy. I appreciate you. You had a friend with you too, but Got you. You really wanted it. He literally ate the whole entire thing. See you, bud. Wow. Man, we've had a day. Well, all right, right there. We fished with the fly rod, my new fly rod. And it was actually my first time like ever actually going out and catching fish and kind of fishing overall because the past time I was just kind of casting and it was a disaster. But first time fishing with the fly has been pretty successful today. I definitely think my skills have improved since the last time. And we actually caught some fish, so I really can't complain there. And uh, that was kind of the whole goal is to get out here and not mess it up and catch fish. And we did just that. I'm probably still not pro level, but hopefully I'm not too bad. That's all I'm hoping for. But uh, it was still a fun time to get out here and try new things and learn new stuff. And it's always fun to do that in fishing. And especially since we got to land some fish today and have some, and we also had some really cool bites. But if you guys enjoy the fly videos, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,